Today, I'm in Sault Ste. Marie, and at 12.01 tonight, the Sioux Locks shipping season officially opens. Behind me is the Edwin H. Scott, and that is going to be the first ship to pass through the Sioux Locks in the 2023 season. But before that happens, we have media access to go and explore the Sioux Locks before they officially open it. Let's go. All right, this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. Look at this. I'm on the other side of the fence here at the locks. Probably familiar with that viewing platform if you've ever been here, but now we're on the opposite side of that. Okay, so I know that we're here for the actual freighters, but this building that we're in, this is my first time here since a uh, child when I was here on engineer day and seeing it from the inside, I can appreciate this so much more, but it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy seeing the got sitting right outside of it, waiting to come into the locks for the first day. I actually, I feel like very official in this setup here. Oh, absolutely. Me too. I think that maybe, you know, can I just walk home with one of these hard hats? I have been around freighters my entire life. I mean it, my entire life on boat. They've been going up and down the St. Mary's River where I was pretty much every single day of my life. Standing next to this ship is one of the coolest things that I've been ever been able to do. And it is even bigger than I could possibly imagine. I'm trying to describe it. It's like standing next to a skyscraper that's been flipped on its side. And from the looks of it, I think that God got a paint job over the winter. It looks nice. That won't last very long though, because the way that it sits up against these walls when it's going in and out of the Sioux locks, um, that's what really scratches these things up. So they have to paint them every few years. And when they get repainted, whew, crisp and clean, like a brand new ship. When they asked us if we wanted to join them on the media tour going through the locks, um, I was hoping, I was hoping that this would happen and it actually came true. I'm going to get to board the Edwin H. God, this is so exciting. St. Mary's Falls Canal, operated by the U.S. Corps of Engineers, is the link between the largest freshwater lake in the world, Lake Superior, and the four lower Great Lakes. And whereas the locks reopened to navigation at 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, March 25th, for the beginning of the 2023 shipping season, the 1,004-foot vessel Edwin H. Gott will open the 2023 shipping season by being the first commercial vessel to pass through the Pollock on Saturday, March 25th, 2023. Now, therefore, be it known that I, Don Gary, Mayor of the City of Sault Ste. Marie, congratulate Captain and crew of the Great Lakes fleet for being the first commercial vessel to navigate through the St. Mary's Falls Canal for the 2023 shipping season. Be it further known that the City of Sault Ste. Marie extends its best wishes to the ships and the crews of all commercial vessels who sail on the Great Lakes for a safe and prosperous season in 2023. It witness thereof, I here unto set my hand and cause the seal of the city of St. Marie to be affixed this 24th day of March 2023. On behalf of the uh, captain and the crew, Edwin H. Gott, everybody from Great Lakes Fleet, I just wanted to present these house flags and plaques to the mayor of the city and the chief of police. <laughs> Recently, we did a draft of our favorite ships, but now that I've been on this one, <laughs> yeah. I think this is my favorite because I'll always remember this. Yep. 